Hello everyone, Matt Seaman from the Consortium for Service Innovation here. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about the language we use. Well, not all the language we use, but one specific word, escalation. Now, when we're working with member companies or really anyone, I often have to ask them to define what they mean by escalation. In a hundred organizations, we're using escalation to mean a thousand different things. This causes a lot of confusion across the industry and a lot of confusion within an organization. I've actually seen it creating siloed thinking within organizations. To bring a little clarity to the word escalation, I reached out to Mike Jasperson. Mike is a vice president at PTC and one of the best escalation managers I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And Mike sent this to me, so I wanna read it so I'm quoting Mike correctly. Escalation is not about an internal process to move work from one person to another. It is about customer expectations. I love that. Customers often look for vendors to change how they're engaging because an expectation is not being met. Escalation should be a word describing a process used by a vendor to manage risk and expectations with their customers. I love this as a definition for escalation. Well, maybe not a definition, maybe more of some context setting around the word escalation, because it's moving us to be thinking about our customers or our clients or our members instead of our internal processes. And in the services world, anything we can do to get our people thinking about customer first is powerful. And I think escalation is one of those words. Mike went on to talk about kind of three types of escalations that he sees. First is a topical escalation or an issue escalation, where it's really one case or one interaction where we need to communicate differently with a customer, really a one-off escalation. Then he had uh, incident escalation, which is a collection of issues where we need to think differently about how we're grouping some work together and engaging the customer to mitigate risk and how we're interacting with the customer. Maybe this is where management has to get involved in the escalation. And then we have account escalation where we have a customer who the entire client is unhappy or there's a lot of big things where we need to pull resources in from all over the company to really get the customer back on track. So whether you think there's three types of escalation or four types of escalation, I don't think that's really the point. I think the point is that we're moving from thinking about escalation as a way to move work internally from tier one to tier two to tier three, which we should be getting rid of tiers anyway because we have intelligence swarming, to escalation really being about how we're engaging to meet expectations of our customers when those expectations are starting to not be met. So. Love to hear what you think of this. I think it's a powerful way for us to start thinking about escalation. Feel free to reach out to us at serviceinnovation.org. Thank you.